what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On Friday, U.S. Ambassador and former Republican Governor Nikki Haley inexplicably called a United Nations emergency session to basically lecture Iranians on their treatment and crackdown on protest in that country. Here's what she had to say. Let there be no doubt whatsoever the United States stand unapologetically with those in Iran who seek freedom for themselves. That's when the Russian ambassador jumped in the mix and called out America for its hypocrisy on human rights. The Russian ambassador cited revolts in America from the 1968 Democratic National Convention protest that turned violent to the Occupy Wall Street of 2011 protest. You know, I am super excited that somebody finally said something. Because I just feel like a lot of these countries are cowards. They see what's going on in America just like the rest of the world do. They see exactly what's going on. They got a number, in fact, they got a number of citizens of their country, a number of people who no longer live there, who live in America, who go back home and tell them exactly what's going on here, exactly how they infringe on people's rights here in the United States every day, how law enforcement are so dirty in the United States, how the government mistreats its own people, how America, American government and law enforcement just trample on people's civil rights, civil liberties every single day. America has a horrible human rights record but it's always trying to call somebody else out. So let's break it on down. Why would they do that? It's not like they care. They're not going over there. They're not saying that they want to end the protest. I mean, they don't, they're not saying that they want to protect the protesters in Iran because they care about the protesters in Iran. They're saying that so they can undermine the Iranian nuclear deal that they have, which Donald Trump has all but basically just thrown away. They're just trying to get rid of the nuke deal. That's it. They're trying to justify that deal. That's it. They're trying to justify destroying the deal, like reneging on the deal. That's all that's, that's about. It's smoke screens. They don't care. They never cared about the people in Iran. They've never cared about the people in Africa, no parts of Africa. They've never cared about the people in Afghanistan. They've never cared about the people in Iraq. It was always an agenda. It was always something to benefit America, whether it was oil, natural resources, or whether it was just positioning for military might to move their the army american army in into a certain proximity to be close to their enemies or whatever it was it's always something it's, it was never about the people anytime you hear america talking about going to save some other country to save some people in some other country man that's smoke screen and mirrors first of all you got to save yourself first you got to clean your own house before you try to clean somebody else's house and America has never cleaned our own house. Never. So that's our game. I've never seen anybody or any type of entity whatsoever that hypocritical, that could be so damn hypocritical with a straight face. You would think somebody would say, you know what? No, we can't really say that about them. If we say that about them, then somebody's going to say something about how we treat our people. I don't think that's a good idea. You know what? I don't give a damn what they think. We're America. We do what we want. And they need to do as we say, not as we do. 
That's what it boils down to, man. The Russians now haven't had any better record with black folks than America has. I mean, Russians, for the most part, they're dirty. They hate black people too. So don't think I'm 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 saying what I'm saying to, you know, to like ride with them or whatever. And Iranians, you know, they pretty much the same way. You know, like all of these countries basically was teeing off on America in this this meeting. America thought they was just gonna come in there and just chastise people, Jamie, you, 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 you. And all of those countries, including the uh, ambassador to France, you know, was stepped up and had something to say. You know, they all kind of teed off on America and basically called her the hypocrite that she is. So, but don't think for one minute that, you know, some of these countries I'm, I'm speaking on, that I'm speaking on them to salute them or something like that. I'm just saying that it doesn't matter if the, your enemy uh, speaks on something or not. If it's the truth, it's the truth. And we all know America, anytime somebody calls America hypocrite, it's the truth. You wonder why Fox hasn't said anything about this, right? I ain't heard nothing about this on Fox. Rush Limbaugh, he ain't said nothing. Glenn Beck, they ain't said nothing. That Tommy girl can't say her name, whatever it is. She ain't said nothing. They don't, they're not going to say nothing because it don't fit the narrative. It's just like when a white person kills a cop. They never talk about it. The minute a black person kills, oh, man, man, we got to change the laws. We got to we gotta tighten up the sentencing. We got to tighten up the sentencing guidelines. And, you know, we have to, you know, we got to build a wall. We got, you know, we got to hire more cops. We need to put more money into the budget. You know, vote for me. You know, I'll be the, the law and order candidate for you. You know, vote for me. The hypocrisy, man, is amazing. It's amazing. I don't wish to talk the way that I'm talking. After all. I was born here in America. I mean, for all practical purposes, I'm an American. But just don't feel like one most of the time because I know that I don't get my fast shape like some people do. And it ain't got nothing to do with my grind, my hustle, my intelligence. My will has nothing to do with that. It's strictly based on Ah, uh, that, that's it. So I'm going to call it like I see it. It is what it is. America can never speak on human rights. Never, never, ever. America should never, ever speak on human rights because she has a horrible record in human rights. And I'm talking about from present day all the way back to when Columbus and the rest of them thieving bastards came over here. I'm talking way back. Horrible human rights, human rights record. And I always got something to say about China. I always trying to say something about Afghanistan and Iraq. I always got to, something to say about African nations. America got the absolute most horrible human record in the history of civilization. America is responsible for more wars, more tragedies, more people dying with all of these sanctions that they put on these countries. This is why when you hear little kids say, why do they hate us? This is why. America will put sanctions on countries and they will stop other countries from doing business with those countries and Effectively, they'll stop tra the trading process that feeds people in these countries. And when they can't trade their services and goods, the economy struggles. And when the economy struggles, oftentimes people can't eat. People can't eat. People die. And that's why these people mad, man. They got relatives, family members, ancestors who have died 
as a result of this type of stuff, as a result of America sending nukes and you know, sending these drones and sending these killing squads out to just just indiscriminately like bomb places and gun up people, man, and innocent people dying. This is why they hate us. Let's keep it real. So America can't speak on human rights. Anytime the question of human rights come up in a United Nations meeting or anywhere in the world, America should just defer. You know what? Uh, I yield my time to the gentleman on I yield my time to the gentleman from France. It needs to be something along those lines. There are a lot of countries out there who can't speak on human rights. But America, by far, is the leader of the pack. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?